So what's up guys, Paul Simon here. Got a little trip to take down to Mississippi. Gonna do some training with Dan Fordyce and uh, try to get him finished up with his uh, R44 rating. And that's coming up next. Heading to the hangar. Got uh, some flying to do today down in Mississippi. I got to go to uh, Vicksburg. Uh, the gentleman's got a, that's the fellow that took me for a ride on P 51. He's working on his helicopter rating, and so we're going to get down there and try to get him uh, most of the way finished up and fly with him for the next couple of days. And uh, I'll keep you guys uh, in the loop here on our part, on our progress here. Well, trying to get across these tracks. There's the train right there. Uh, <laughs> try to get it across there so I can get some breakfast and get my little behind on the way to Mississippi. But, uh, oh, I guess he's going back up for me. That's awful kind of him. Here he comes. <laughs> uh, awful nice of them to get the hell out of my way. Hey, right, hell, here comes another train. That's pretty cool. So I guess I'm actually waiting on two trains now. Hopefully this one will get by before the other one comes this way again. We'll see what happens. Yeah, the other guy's continuing to back up, so that's looking good. Just stay down that way. As soon as this guy gets by, I can get out of here. Get across the tracks and get some breakfast. All right, well, there's the end of it. Maybe I'll be able to get going, huh? Just to raise the gate here and let me through. All right, we're on the way. So here I am in the office. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the aircraft that I was gonna fly with, with Dan Bordice, that was gonna be his aircraft. Uh, unfortunately, it's down for maintenance. It's got an issue they're working on. And um, so, need to take a helicopter from here. Well, as luck would have it, our aircraft just came out of, uh, just had a new starter and ring gear put on it. So Dean's having to balance the, uh, uh, rotor system so a uh, little bit of a delay getting out of here but we'll get on the way pretty quick all right door two bit secure warning lights out like agent green we got two, yeah, so we got fuel radio's tuned coming off with the friction off with the friction 90 percent going around All right, got three green. Tips and pressures look good. Manifold pressure appropriate. Cape Tower, helicopter 979, Romeo Mike. Hi, Romeo Mike Tower. Yes, sir, on the ramp down to Cape Copter, I'd like to uh, depart down to the um, southwest with a left break out to the south. Hi, Romeo Mike, departure press position, Patreon on risk, use caution, altimeter is 3000, wind 020 at 4. All right, I'm going to set the aircraft down here for just a second, then I'll depart. Roger. Alpha Flight 802 is ready to go. Nine Romeo Mike, uh, hold short of right, runway right. 02 for IFR departure. Holding short of uh, two for nine Romeo Mike. For Flight 802, runway 02, you're clear for takeoff, you can proceed on course. Clear for takeoff on course for Flight 802. And Cape Tower Station Air 377 Golf Kilo. Currently 13 miles south of the airport for landing. You got a cotton for kilo. Runway 2, we're just waiting on them to get on by here. Zero at 4, report a 3 mile final, runway 0 2. 7 off kilo, report a 3 mile final for runway 2. I guess he's going to leave today. Uh, <laughs> 
There you go. Nine, Romeo Mike, you can transition behind the uh, departing Mooney off runway zero two and uh, additional traffic, say uh, station air inbound on the straight end of zero two. Got him in sight and uh, on the go and we'll be, uh, I'll remain uh, to the east of the center line of runway two at all times. Roger. For flight 802, you can proceed on course, contact Memphis. Welcome to uh, Memphis and uh, on course for flight 802. Station Air 7 Golf Kilo will be watching for the Mooney. We're currently four miles on the final for the runway two. Well, I don't see you, bro, Ham. About uh, four kilo, Roger, continue. For myself, and I don't see him. I'm well below where he would be anyway. And tower, I took my Romeo by correction. The Delta to the south, we're still low level, you know, factor there for the uh, station arrow on the inbound. And Romeo Mike, Roger, appreciate your Yeah, I think we'll climb on up, get above the clouds here, and see what, uh, see if we got favorable winds up there. Clouds are pretty sparse. Seven Golf Kilo, right at the end, taxi park via Echo. And you can tell that because we're near the bottom of the cloud layers, and if you look out, it looks like there's quite a few clouds around. It's like it's, you know, 50% cloud coverage or more, but then all you got to do is look down at the shadows on the ground, you'll see that there's only about 10% cloud coverage. <laughs> so you could be fooled uh, when you get up close to the base of the clouds looking across, it looks like there's a lot more clouds than what there actually is. And all the way up here, 2,000 feet so far. It's kind of scary up here. Watching the shadows of the clouds, they are always well, moving south. Runway 28, taxi via Charlie Alpha. Runway 28, you're like, uh, take we off. definitely got a tailwind uh, up here. Right on course, use caution for mower, uh, right of runway approach. So I dropped back down below the clouds again. I got better winds down here on the deck. Well, not on the deck, I'm about 700 feet. Air. But I got about 11, 12 knot push down here and only had about eight above the clouds. Starting to come more of a westerly corner above the clouds, so we just dropped on down here. Get the best winds down low here. Crop duster under me here. Roll a little bit, let you guys get a look at him there. Back to spraying again. A lot of crop dusters out this time of the year. Well, here's downtown Memphis. There's the Pyramid. There's an island here that's just to the left of us called Mud Island. There used to be an airport on it. There's now a uh, working model of the Mississippi River down here on the south end of it. I guess it's like, I don't know, State Park or whatever they consider that. But anyway, there's a model of the Mississippi River which is kind of cool. So well, here I am at Tunica, Mississippi, and uh, they don't have self-service fuel, they only have a truck, and uh line guy left, they said he had an emergency. I'm not sure if his cat got sick or what the hell the problem is, but anyway, <laughs> hopefully he's gonna be back in about 20 minutes. <laughs> we'll see. guy with wasn't here but they were managed to get the truck going let me pump it so we're all to go coming on with the hair conditioner That bucking and jumping there that's vapor locking. It'll run rough for about 30 to 45 seconds here. You can actually hit prime with the mixture out. That'll run new cooler fuel through your fuel lines down to the injector and back and uh, stop it from vapor locking. But uh, I didn't think it was quite that hot today, but evidently it is.
Yeah, I think we'll side, slide side here, get over to here, get us a little running room. And two to traffic, helicopter 979 Romeo Mike on the go, taking off from the main ramp, Tunica. Well, the door's open, that's just great. Well, guess what, in a Robinson, when the door pops open, that's a non-event. That door is not structural, so don't do something stupid like reach over there, let go of the controls to grab the uh, door. So just leave it alone. We're gonna climb on out here. Come around, get on course, and then I'll mess with getting my door closed. My fuel lady opened the door, turned the switch on, if they didn't get it closed good enough, and I didn't check it. So there you go. All right. We're here at cruise now. We did a read over here and close the door. That's all it took. Getting a little precip here. Enough to clean off the windshield. Maybe clean the blaze a little bit. Yeah, pick a bird. Regional traffic, helicopter 979, Romeo Mike. Turn and final for the main ramp at Vicksburg. Got a guy waving me on down here.